He's making wisdom go viral with his videos online garnering billions of views each year. He said billions, folks. Now he's on a new mission to help people find love in his brand new book, Eight Rules of Love, How to Find It, Keep It, and Let It Go. Please welcome New York Times bestselling author and award-winning podcaster, Jay Shetty. Jay is in Thank you so we need to talk nice. to you. I know. <laughs> we certainly do. We've been talking about it earlier this morning, mm -hmm. how excited we were. Now, everyone has a story, but your story is really fascinating. You actually lived as a monk for three years when you were 25 years old. Now, you don't necessarily think of a monk giving love <laughs> advice, Definitely but here not. we are, and this has shaped you. Tell us how that experience shaped you and this book. Yeah, well, I think before those three years, I made so many mistakes in relationships, <laughs> so many mistakes in dating. And after those three years, I realized it's because I didn't really know who I was. Like those three years gave me time, space, and energy to really get to know myself. So then when I met my now wife, it was so much more easier to figure out whether we had a connection or not. And so I don't think everyone needs to go off and live as a monk for three years. <laughs> but I do think taking out time by yourself in solitude to really understand yourself helps you make a better decision. So you touched on this a moment ago, you said how important it is to spend time by yourself. People don't normally think about that when they're looking for love. You think the opposite. You need to be out there. <laughs> yeah. So talk about a little bit more about why spending time alone really can help you find that perfect person. Yeah, so studies show that we usually rush into love or rush into relationships because we're scared of being alone. And three things happen when you do that. The first thing is that you settle for less than you deserve. Mm. I think we've all been there, mm -hmm. everyone's experienced that. Mm -hmm. The second thing is you become more dependent on the other person. And the third thing is you actually struggle to leave. So there's this beautiful statement by Paul Tillich where he said that there's two words for being alone in the English language, but we only use one of them, loneliness, which is the weakness of being alone. But he said there's another word, which is solitude. It's the strength of being alone, the confidence of being alone. So when you actually get to understand your personality, your values, your goals, when you meet another person, you can now see whether you connect with their personality, their values, their goals. It is nice. I, my husband's my biggest cheerleader. I love and that. I always, that's one of the things I appreciate the most. But you say your partner should also be your guru. Yes. What do you mean by that? So, yeah, this chapter is one that you definitely have to read because <laughs> it, it's quite a deep idea. But the point is that, you know, our relationships start with chemistry. We love that. We love the feeling of the sparks, the attraction, the butterflies. But it's character that sees a relationship through. And character means you need to learn and grow together. So when your partner's your guru, it's someone you love learning with. It's someone you love growing with. It's someone you love solving problems with. Because that's what life is. Life is going to be com complex. There's going to be uncertainties. There's going to be challenges. If you're going to spend your life with someone, it better be a partner and a teammate mm -hmm. that you like solving problems with. But what happens when you're with someone? that you love, but you feel like you're not getting the love back? I mean, that's a really challenging scenario that I think a lot of people face and find themselves in. And I think a big reason for that, DeMarco, is that so many of us, we get into a relationship and we think that's the achievement. And we need to readdress, we need to redefine our goals as a couple. We need to redefine where continue we're to work. Continual yes. work. And I think so many of us think moving in, getting married, having kids, that that's the end. It's actually a continuous process. It never ends. It never ends. Mm -mm. We should talk to you for the entire <laughs> I hour. know. I like, can't. This is all such great advice. Thank Finding you. the purpose in your relationship. Wow. Thank you so much Thank for joining you. us today. You delivered you everything know. that people say about you. Thank you so much for having me. Well, <laughs> well, you both matched with the cover. That makes my day. That's made my day. I love it. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you both yeah. of you. Thank you. You can learn much more in his new book, Eight Rules of Love, How to Find It, Keep It, and Let It Go. It is out everywhere books are sold. I feel delivered. I know. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.